Hi, my name is Nigel Williams and I'm a Solutions Architect for Hewlett Packard Enterprise and today we are going to talk about scaling within Nimble Storage. Now one of the most regular questions I get when customers look at Nimble as an option is how they can scale this up and move on to their expanding requirements. Thankfully it's an extremely simple process to do. Now, judging by this table here, what I've done is started with a very base model 20. Now that can be an AF20 for all flash, or it could be a HF20 for the hybrid. Luckily, the rules are the same. So if we look at this environment, we've got this base model to start off with. Just ahead, no shelves, no upgrades. And we find that what we need to do is there's been an increase in performance requirement. What we can do is quite happily move up to the 40 controller. We can move up again to the 60, and if it's an all flash, we can even go up again to the AF80. Now, the reason we would do this is that we have a much greatly increased performance requirement either through CPU, but the beauty is that we don't have to go in stages. If you have a very large increase, you can go straight from a 20 to an 80 in the all flash, or from a 20 to the 60 in the hybrid flash with no downtime. And that's a major benefit when to look at when choosing a solution. If you have this large performance requirement, you can simply order the upgrade controllers, whether as part of our timeless storage program or just through a regular purchase, swap them out non-disruptively and get that extra performance there and then when you need it. Now, a far more common option is to grow capacity, whether it be through growth over time, growing needs of the business, or just the ever generation of data that we have. Now, luckily, again, with Nimble, we've got multiple options. If you are in the hybrid environment, we can go all the way up to six shelves. Now, these do not need to be identical. We can go um, in stages of 21T all the way up to 210 terabytes with 15 terabyte drives on the way. This means that you have a massive amount of raw addressable capacity available per, per array to the point where we can literally go six times 210 terabyte shelves raw. Now, on the all flash, rules are slightly different. The disks are denser and we have more disks per shelf. So that gives us an ability to add an extra two shelves. But in regarding of the amount of usable capacity and data reduction, we are still there with what we need. So we can easily scale performance and we can easily scale capacity, both non-disruptively and both coming online within less than half an hour. Again, no downtime required, no maintenance window required. This enables you to be extremely flexible in your IT operations and move forward with other projects instead. Now you might notice I've forgotten a single arrow. So what the scaling here is, what is scaling out? Now we've scaled up the performance as much as we can in a single, in a single array. So of course, what we want to do is to go to multiple arrays. Luckily, Nimble has the ability to cluster not only two, four heads together. Now the beauty of this is that they do not need to be the same. I can quite happily blend an all flash and a hybrid together or I can have four of the same in if I just purely want more performance, giving me an exceptional amount of CPU capacity to use. Again, the beauty of this is that it doesn't tie down any of the rules. If I want six shelves on a hybrid, I can then multiply that by four to give me 24 expansion shelves under a single management GUI, allowing me to manage over a petabyte of storage. Now, if that isn't enough for most workloads, I'm not sure what is. So in this environment, you have the ability to scale performance, scale capacity, and scale outward to a cluster non-disruptively. If you wanna find out more, please feel free to go to our website, hpe.com forward slash storage. Hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.